Hello, my name is Joe Lauer, and I'm with the University of Wisconsin. I'm the corn agronomist in the Department of Agronomy. And uh, today what I wanted to do is talk about uh, how, to, how to determine the success of pollination in a, in a corn crop. This year we're having a major drought. Uh, this is affecting development all the way through this pollination period. This the success of the pollination will dictate what any future management decisions we might be able to make. For example, if pollination is okay and proceeded fairly well, uh, then there's really no management decisions that need to be made other than normal decisions for silage or grain down the road. However, if pollination is unsuccessful, uh, then the corn can be cut at any time and put into a bunker or a silo to be fermented and stored as, as, as silage. But another situation is where the, the, the uh, fertilization or pollination may have only produced about 50% of the kernels on an ear that it normally would. Then we're into a situation where even though we have 50% fewer kernels on the ear, it's still probably better to let that corn plant develop and harvest it at a normal time later on because we can still gain two to three tons of dry matter versus the four to five uh, or six tons of dry matter that we can get with normally pollinated grains. So again, if it's fully pollinated or partially pollinated, you're probably better off letting that, that uh, crop grow and finish the season. It's only when you have unsuccessful pollination that you need to harvest that that corn really any time uh, that it's at the right moisture for the storage structure. Now to determine the success of, of pollination, the way you would do that is you would take an ear. Uh, what I have behind me here is actually a planting date study where we went in and uh, planted at different times uh, from March all the way through June. Uh, and uh, the first planting date was March uh, 26th. And, uh, and what I wanted to do is just pull an ear off here. This plant has, has gone through a uh, pollination period. And, and we're just going to look at the success of the, uh, uh, of the pollination. The way you would do that, do this, is you would basically carefully peel back the husk, trying to keep as many of the silks intact as you can. Okay. And again, very carefully uh, remove those. And then you are left with the ear shoot, and you'd basically then just shake it. And uh, any uh, silks that fall off the uh, ear are basically ovules that have been fertilized and will eventually develop into kernels. Now you can see this one here is not fertilized completely yet. And that could be due to a number of reasons. The pollen is being shed from the tassels, from these anthers in the tassels. Generally that pollen will fall within about 50 feet of this plant. And uh, there may be problems with the synchrony of this pollen drop versus the emergence of the silk. Uh, typically under drought conditions, the tassel or vegetative part of the plant will speed up its development, whereas the reproductive parts of the plant will slow down their development. So instead of an overlap or nick of seven to eight days in with normally developing corn, that nick may only be two to three days. And all the pollen may have dropped uh, from this plant and there's been no pollen from other plants that have, that have yet fertilized this, this particular ear here. So again, a lot of reasons can be uh, 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 for, for lack of success uh, of this, uh, of, of fertilization of these ovules on, to form kernels, but uh, the nick is, is certainly one of those. Um, Another way to determine what the success of pollination is to wait seven to ten days and then you'll actually be able to see the individual ovules on the ear developing into blisters and individual kernels. And again, you can count the number of those blisters uh, on the ear to get a feel for the success of your pollination. But regardless of what's done, really no decision should be made until this pollination phase has been completed. Uh, once that pollination is, is completed, and usually it's between July 10th to August 1st, somewhere in there, 
uh, then we can start to make decisions as to whether or not to leave the crop grow and get as much dry matter as we can or to make the decision if it's poorly pollinated to uh, to harvest the uh, the crop immediately and maybe plant a double crop something following uh, this particular corn crop.